Hey everyone, I have a stationery haul for you today. I've ordered from several different shops over the last few weeks and I'm excited. I share them all with you. I love getting new things. So let's start with this. This is a three pen holder pouch from Hurlstone based in New Zealand. And this was actually a gift from Robin at Talks From The Heart for a very special occasion for me. And she also has one in a different print. So we have sister pouches, which I completely love. I'm sure if she hasn't shown it already, I'm sure she'll show it soon because hers is absolutely gorgeous. So this has a pocket in the back. I've seen several people with this and I'm glad to finally have, have my own. And it tucks into a little flap there like that. I actually prefer to have cloth and fabric uh, cases for my pens and any other extra instruments that I use because my notebook covers are usually leather. So I like to have this as an accompaniment to it. I don't like all leather all the time, uh, despite what any previous videos say. But you know, these are together and I just think it's so cute. I get all the different textures and I get to enjoy it all. So I love, love, love it. So this one, this is the fern pattern and these are pretty pricey too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I will say it is very well worth the, the, the cost. Uh, so if you're in the market for this type of thing, at that price point, I can't recommend this enough. So it has a beautiful velvet interior. The whole interior is velvet. And I believe you can also get these customized. So you can pick your velvet color, you can pick the fabric on the outside. I really love this. It's like a uh, like upholstery. It's very uh, durable and rugged. It reminds me of Lindock pouches, which I am a huge fan of. So three pen slots there. And uh, I feel like I've shown these like so much in every single video because it's just what I'm using right now. Uh, but this is a vintage Waterman 52V in the Olive Ripple. It has Noodler's 54th Mass in it. I realized that I am probably not supposed to put any of these inks in my vintage pens, but I'm I just want to use them, you know? Uh, this is a Waterman's fifth, or five, five, two and a half in, uh, I don't know, five, five, two, or yeah, five, five, two and a half. I, I don't know. I, I am not a pen connoisseur, but does this not have the most beautiful gold plating? I probably got that wrong as well. It's so pretty though. And both of these have amazing flex nibs. This is filled with uh, Colt pens and Diamine Robert, which is probably unsafe for fountain pens or for vintage pens too. Both of these are like a hundred years old. So there you go. Um, this is the Traveler's Company Brass Ballpoint Pen. But I was watching one of Job's videos from Job's journal and he hacked his uh, Traveler's Company ballpoint pen with a gel refill. So I hacked mine with a Pilot Coletto. I, I still really love gel pens. I've been using gel pens all year basically. I haven't been using fountain pens up until just a couple of weeks ago. So it's like a it's like a safety blanket to have a gel pen with me at all times. So these fit beautifully in here. Obviously my pocket pens go way down, but I can just squeeze the bottom and they pop right back up. So this is absolutely wonderful. And I've thoroughly been enjoying this. Thank you so much, Robin. This is a very, very special, special gift. So that's from Hurlstone. And I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, and then I got an order from, <laughs> from Nico Neko Zakaya in, in New York. And uh, I mean, I, I kept these in the packages just to 
kind of show you how they come. I'm going to go ahead and get them all out. All right, so I have really embraced stamping this year. It was just one of those new frontiers for me. I hadn't ever been attracted to stamping, and I just never really found a really good groove with stamps to use them on a regular basis until this year, and I just really love collaging. So I am, I'm just gonna show you these real quick and put some footage in of, of me stamping, but I have a, I have a bunch from, I guess it's pronounced Nyret. I don't know, I never know, so please forgive me for butchering all these names, but these five are from Nyret Design, and I, I have a real lack in my stamp collection of word, word stamps, phrases, text, that kind of thing. And I love seeing text stamps uh, like over top of a collage. I just, I just think that gives it a wonderful finishing touch. And so I, I basically placed this order to meet that demand in, in my stash. And then at this time, Nico Neko actually released a bunch of text stamps, mostly by this Nyret design company. And so I took advantage. I was able to fill my card and get uh, free shipping. So I did that and I got, uh, I don't know, there's a whole bunch. I just picked the ones that spoke to me the most. And so one says today's, that's just kind of for, for planning. Really, I'm gonna use it for whatever I want. <laughs> There's find joy in ordinary things, blessed because I have severely recognized my blessings this year. Uh, we are only a moment of that one. And then one that is just, it's kind of a collage in and of itself. It kind of just has a bunch of writing on it. It says journal backwards and upside down. <laughs> Uh, choose joy, journal, write, just love, love all those things. And then I got two from Jesslyn Padilla, which she's, she's my favorite stamp maker of the moment. I love her style. So I got all things bright and beautiful. And then when you love something, you get lost in it. Amen. So those are the stamps that I got from Nico Neko, and I I really only have the one ink pad type, which is the uh, Versa Magic Dew Drop. They just do really well on Tomoe River paper because I sometimes I use these in my Hobonichi Weeks, and yeah, they just work fantastic. And then I got these two little ephemera booklets. And uh, because they're great for layering and they're all of the uh, styles that uh, this has is in this cream colored paper and then they repeat on vellum paper, which is super, super cool. And then they repeat on craft paper as well. So this is like a ticket ticket type of style I guess I just I just love having papers like this and even like the craft ones if I don't want to use the print on them I will use the back and use it as a backing for for collages so this is the other one this this one's kind of a hodgepodge I don't know they each had a name I'll link below everything that I that I can manage uh, some of this stuff goes out of stock, you know, at these shops, but they do refill. There's a uh, Lady Baltimore frosting and filling. It, it's just a random recipe. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, but if something's out of stock, they do restocks all the time. I know Nico Neko does. So here's the vellum portion. And uh, so if you check their restock section, you can find a lot of the stuff there. And I have a wish list, and what I do is everything that I think I like, I put in my wish list, and then it, it will show, you know, whether it's in stock or not. So I will just go and check 
my wish list and randomly I'll find that some of the things that have been out of stock are back in stock and uh, there was no way to find out unless I unless I checked my wish list. So that, that's a good way to kind of handle that. I really like this star paper glassine plastic that it's in. This is, hold on. These are vellum pieces for journaling, but they have a word and then a definition and then just like a really cool background. Oh, I was like, oh, this is gonna be white. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. And I liked the wordings in these the best, I think. So there was autumn, favorite season, sunshine. You get several of all of them. Party, dream, hope, yeah. Relax, delight, vacation, sweet. This one looks a little different. I can't read it, but it says sweet. And then sunny, believe, I think that's all of them delight wonderful so i i i just wanted some of these i don't have any vellum like paper that i can print out and uh, i was really wanting some vellum elements which is why i also got these because i like that it had some vellum in them as well so uh, got those and what is, oh okay and then uh Okay, I'm a really big fan of this as well. These phrase stickers. Tim Holtz is what I have been using and that what I see everywhere. They're really popular and really easy to get a hold of. They're pretty available at shops like Joanne Fabrics and stuff like that. So I've been working with those. It's kind of dwindling down a little bit. And then I saw these at Nico Neko, and it's basically the same thing. I do believe these are called like journal prompts because some of these are kind of random. Um, but I actually like the majority of these. I think, um, I think I can definitely use them. And what I do use them for is mostly memory keeping when I collage and stuff like that. So uh, just appreciation for life, family, events, opportunities is, is kind of what I like to highlight. And I think a lot of these really capture that, except maybe like random life of librarian, you know, the lady in red, uh, love little trick. I don't know. I don't know. But you can always like chop these and use the individual words if you want. So this is. All right, I got I got both versions so i got the white one and the black one the text is exactly the same between these two but depending on what my collage is looking like i i either want to use a white or a black one so uh you get two sheets in each pack and they both say the same the same things uh so essentially i've got four four copies of all of these stickers and uh yeah i'm i'm just really excited to incorporate these so there's that and then the last place that i got something from is bomb kuhen and i don't actually like to purchase from them if if i don't have to because they don't have a free shipping option right i mean i'm i'm pretty sure that they don't i never get free shipping and i've ordered some pretty expensive things from them uh so I, uh, okay, I, I didn't buy this this time. I've had this for a, a while. This is the, uh, you know, wallet insert. And I love, love, love this colorway. You basically have to wait and see the things that are released, like the different colorways, and then grab the one you want the, the moment it's available. Uh, so this one's called Starlight. And I have been on a huge like blue, yellow, brown kick lately. And I green is my favorite color, you know, H hello. And so I don't know where this whole like color scheme is coming from, but I dig it. So anyway, I had this in my, my traveler's notebook. I'm just gonna give a quick peek because I actually doctored that up and it needs a separate video. But I, 
I had this in my traveler's notebook and it's, it's pretty bulky. Uh, this is a really thick canvas. It's superior labor canvas and then it's painted on top of it and that adds like stiffness and thickness too. So, you know, this has its purpose, but I was looking for something thinner. And this is what prompted me to uh, place this Baumkuchen order. And uh, so let me show you what I put in here. Okay, I can show that. So I got the B-Sides and Rarities Traveler's Company insert. And holy moly, this is so much thinner than this superior labor thing and it it fit the knee. This is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted a thinner option than that other thing. So so I have this and it's it is so nice. It is so well done. I love this olive color. This is kind of pricey. What was it like $35 or something? Um it, whatever this was 50 so there you know it's better this this is a better uh cheaper option if you're looking for a cloth type of insert uh i do love i love this i love how this is covered with this flap and you have a pocket there uh this is so much easier also to get things in and out of than this slip pocket because it bends right here your elastic is right there and you, I don't know, it's just harder to get stuff out of there. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not going to break you or anything, but this is way easier. <laughs> so I appreciate that. And then it has, you know, the typical zipper pouch and I love this. And also because I zhuzhed up my traveler's notebook, this, this just, the color scheme didn't go with it. And this olive fits right in and I just, could not love it anymore. So got that from Baumkuchen and then, oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. And then I'm like all the cool kids now, I finally got one of the horribly expensive <laughs> brass clips from Traveler's Company. Uh, and uh, it, it's amazing. I knew it would be amazing. It's, it's hefty, it has a wonderful weight. And the way the clamp is, it doesn't damage your, your papers. I have other clamps and they have a sharp edge that actually touches the paper and digs in and will dig into leather if you if you clamp it to your leather. This this is amazing. It's uh it doesn't hurt, you know? It it's it's worth it to me, I think. Uh, so I have that on here and I put it at the top like everybody does. And so it looks like a little crown on my, on my setup and yeah, it's unnecessary, but I love it. And then I just went ahead and got the craft folder from Traveler's Company in the standard size as well, just in case I needed it. I never had any of these, whatever. I just threw it in because I was shopping there anyway. <laughs> so I, I threw this in, um, you know, I was gonna say it, it wasn't expensive. It's not a lot of money. It's just a, it's a few dollars, but for a craft item like this that you really can just throw together with poster board, it's it's expensive in that regard. So anyway, I don't buy from Baumkuchen often, so I just decided to throw this in and just make shipping worth it. So the last thing I got from them did I get something else and I'm just like waiting to tell you guys about it? I don't know. So the last thing I got was this stamp. <laughs> so cute. Um, what's his name? I think it's Daruma, but if, if that's wrong, I'm sorry. I didn't check before I started filming. So this stamp, let me go ahead and open it. I, I try... <laughs> I already stamped with it. I put this back on so I could be like, oh, look at this. This is how it comes. So here it is. It's engraved in there. So, so nice. And this is this little guy. So I guess the story behind this, let me grab my book. All right, so here it is. I think I can show it. Yeah, I had to cover it up. So basically 
when you stamp this, his eyes are like hollow. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to set an intention. And when you set an intention, you color in one of the eyes. And then when you meet that intention, you color in the other one. I got suckered. I thought that was too cute. And I do have these goals that I am working towards slowly. So I thought, oh, this would be fantastic to stamp in my Hobonichi weeks each week to have something to concentrate on for that week. And obviously this week I'm like wake up by a specific time. I covered it up because I don't want to be judged badly. <laughs> I don't wake up at 5 a.m. or anything, so, you know, I'm <laughs> baby steps. Anyway, uh, so this is that guy. I think he looks like Baymax a little bit, and I, I love the concept behind it. So I plan to use this throughout the weeks to concentrate on a specific goal for myself uh, so that I can, I can just be a better person, be a better mom and wife and, you know, God-fearing woman. And uh, he's so cute. And in their example, in the listing, they have the little speech bubble with him, like stating the goal. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I feel suckered in. So, so that, that's what happened there. Uh, I totally love it. Uh, this is, this is the Versa Magic ink. What is, yeah. So it, it does really well. I mean, it, it performs like all my gel pens and stuff. Uh, doesn't bleed through. Actually, my gel pen that I color design is almost like bleeding through more than the Versa Magic ink. So there you go figure. Uh, that's my Hobonichi Weeks, by the way. So I got him and then, um, oh, is that, is that everything? I think that's everything. <laughs> I need to go shopping some more. Uh, well, what's going on here? Mm, why did I bring this out? Okay, I don't know why I brought this out. I, I pulled it out because I was going to say something about it, but oh, I guess <laughs> wait till the next video. Uh, anyway, that is all the stuff that I have gotten recently. And I hope you guys enjoyed looking at all the new things. I love me some haul videos. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And until I see you next time, bye, everybody.